Hello everybody, welcome to our Road to the Show series. Welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. I do not know, but this is the starting pitcher, career, Chance Davis on the new MLB 21, uh, the show. I'm so excited. We're going to start new um, and load our saved roster, which is the RTTS roster, which is the live roster. Don't worry, but we added three players, Max, Adam, and Cam from our previous Road to the Shows, and they're on their respective teams. So, I've had a lot of trouble doing this. I've done this a couple times now, um, and I haven't got it to work. Uh, a lot of technical difficulties. So this is the part where we choose if we want to get drafted or not. Um, and I definitely do. We do not choose our team out here. It's not our thing, so let's go. in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. That team is pumping up mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. Where will we go? The Oakland Athletics. Okay. Heading out west. All right, I'm good with that. We don't Continuing get to choose. That's a big MLB deal. Draft day two wrap up coverage. Back to the prospect that we mentioned before the break. There was some surprise, even some criticism of the front office over how early he went off the board. Jonathan Mayo, what do you think of this pick? Man, I, I don't think any of us saw this one coming. This uh, definitely feels like a, a reach to me. Uh, you know, I, I had him more as a, a day three kind of guy. Uh, there was a split camp. A lot of scouts disagreed whether he's better as a pitcher or better as a hitter. I, I'm guessing the, the the team felt that he's got potential on both sides of the ball, and, and maybe that adds some value to him. But uh, this made me scratch my head a little bit for sure. All right, Jonathan Mayo, thanks. Uh, what about you, Jim Callis? Was this a head scratcher or the reach of the draft, as some of the other analysts have suggested? Yeah, you know, I, I talked to somebody with the team, and they look, they're, they're excited to get this guy. This is a guy they really want. And the two points the club made to me were, one, you know, this whole debate, is he a hitter, is he a pitcher? You know, what are you going to do with him? You know, there was a lot of confusion. This team isn't confused. This team feels like he's, a, he's got very good potential as a hitter and as a pitcher. They may even try to play him both ways. And they also, they felt like there were a couple other teams that were starting to sniff around this guy. And, you know, this isn't the NFL or NBA draft where you can trade down to get a guy you want. If you want a guy, you have to take him because there, there's no trades. And, and they felt like if they didn't take him where they did, somebody else was going to get them. And they just absolutely did not want that to happen. Jim Callis, we appreciate the time. Thanks. So he's doubting us. Um, and here they're going to talk about the two-way prospect, which I'm personally not interested in. Um, but they make you do it for a little bit. Uh, so, sure thing. We'll play in the outfield since Chance is a lefty. Play left. Rolling along with the podcast and back on the prospect who's divided the scouting community I am opposed to this belief that he went too high. I really think he could be a steal here. This is a guy who's got so much development left to do. He's got so much potential. And I think all the scouts who are down on him think, oh, he's not a finished product. We don't know what he is. That, to me, could be a good thing. He can hit. He can field. He can pitch. There is so much untapped potential so far for this guy. I'm excited to see what he becomes. And certainly as he gets started actually playing, actually being in games, we're going to be able to talk to some other folks who get a better read on him and see what they think. I'm excited for that. And frankly, I'm going to have my eye on him for a while. Okay, so that's the new podcast feature added into the game. I actually quite enjoy that. I think it's uh, pretty cool. But now it's our time to sort of check out Chance, uh, what's, what he's about. So he's going to be a starting pitcher, but um, let's just go through his appearance first off. He's 6'5", 185, uh, whereas number 26, he's a lefty out of Arizona, um, and he throws heat. That is his thing. He is a velocity guy. He's got... Uh, grown man hair. It's a little more on the reddish brown side uh, with the Euro facial style and the full beard, both on stubble. Uh, just in case you want to recreate them, we wear high socks. You know how it goes. Um, 
and the semi-flat hat. So that is Chance Davis. He's a starting pitcher, like I said. Um, and we'll switch his loadout. So we're going to switch it to uh, the Chance loadout. So this is the Velo uh, idea, and he's going to throw three pitches uh, at the start. We chose Sinker as our primary, Changeup as our two, and Slider as our three. But for these first games, we do have to go out and play uh, in the field, which I don't love, but it's their way of introducing the two-way idea into the game. And I would do the two-way thing, but I don't want to. I don't think it's realistic. There's only one true two-way in the league right now, and that is Shohei Otani. And I really like Shohei, but there's not many like him. And uh, I just want to be a pitcher, so there's nothing wrong with that. We play for the Midland Rockhounds. I'm pretty excited here. Let's get it going. So if you didn't know, uh, this is a realistic road to the show. Um, which what that means is... We upload every day, and it is less about... No, that wasn't it. It's less about hitting a ton of home runs and winning 70,000 World Series. It's more about playing a complete career with this guy and uh, going through the ups and downs. If you've ever seen Tyrant Saber's career, that's sort of what we're aiming for. Out and left, this is not our primary position. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down. But like I was saying, um, we, we hit on a Hall of Fame, and then we pitch on Legend, which is the max difficulty. So we're going to get shelled some games. We're going to throw some good games. We're going to develop. We're going to get better. Things are going to be fun. Things are going to be good. And we're going to have a good time here with Chance, um, and hopefully we can carry him over through games. Now, I have played this portion of the game twice um, already, and that's because last night, uh, when the game came out, I decided um, I would finally go with face cam. Uh, turns out, I couldn't. <laughs> uh... I tried and my computer did not, oh, we got a trophy, my computer did not exactly register that, so, and he missed outside, so we'll take our walk. My computer did not register that, so I restarted the software, I did it again, this time the audio file, or the computer file took it forever to process, and it did not get uploaded uh, like I wanted wanted it to. Um, there was just a big black box where my face should have been. So that was a huge problem, obviously. So I settled for not having it because I wouldn't have it all the time anyway. If we ever get to it, I think it's more of a live streaming thing. Um, but it's fine. So I've already played a little bit of it. Got a feel for the game a little bit. It's very much so like uh, like MLB 20. A couple differences here and there. We pitched on pulse pitching. You know, everybody else, there's pure analog. That's the meta, but we pitch on pulse. Um, for not really a specific reason. I'm going to turn Matt down a little bit. Make sure he's not too loud. Um... I think Pulse is the most comfortable for me, and it allows stats to really show, because if you have bad stats, your Pulse uh, is not going to be as small, which is nice. I think that's a good mechanic in the game. Also, uh, notable, we've talked about doing two careers. Um, that is down the line. Hey! 30 speed is, isn't too fast, but we will take our double. There we go. All right, there's a double in our first career double A hit. Good rope. We talked about doing another player, but I don't think it's going to be really one something we're going to be able to do with the new ball player mechanic. It would have to be an entirely different road to the show uh 
with Chance Davis. I mean, Chance would still be the character. And I'm not a fan of that, so... I think we're just going to stick to daily uploads here with Chance. Uh, and I'm, once again, I'm sorry I didn't get one out um, yesterday, but it's just the way it goes sometimes. Chase Calibui. Ball four and a walker running. So we just tied things up here. I'm super excited. I hope you all like the series. Uh, we upload every day. So you should see a daily at noon Eastern time nearly every day. And unless I miss something or something like that, uh, we should have a video out every day. And this is the only episode I believe we'll be playing left field. I played outfield last year with Adam. I know how to track a ball down. I do like the animations a lot this year. And I like that I'm making stubs uh, playing Road to the Show. Not many, but making some. You know, because this is just a one run game, up one, strike me as one for two with the double. He's gonna be working around and we actually hit that one pretty well, but right straight here. out to right. Now, the progression in this game is a little different. There are archetypes, um, but they're more so in, and they're disguised by the term loadout. Which, what that means, uh, here is the loadout screen. You can choose to have a different loadout in different scenarios, and that's really for Road to the Show. It's not really for Road to the Show. That's more of a uh, Diamond Dynasty thing. So, I don't like that they combine the two, but they still kept this intact, and we have a nice uh, mode here with podcasts and good additions into the game. I like the two-way idea. I think it really... We got him! Oh, I thought we got him. Uh, I like the additions they made. I do not like the new progression system. It looks like it's the same progression system until you reach 50 on the attribute. In which case, that is upgraded by just playing through the game and hitting different achievements, I think. I'm not quite sure. I'll go through my loadout um, before we pitch, or maybe after. Uh, I chose the cheese one for the main one. That was the velo one. There was three basically plain filthy flamethrower and uh, control freak from last year's game. And then, I guess, if I play any Diamond Dynasty, Chance is going to be awesome because he's going to be really good. <laughs> Into right, no, what a play! We oh, wow, 30 speed, not too fast. The batter will be Josh Young, he comes in over two thus far. So, all tied at one here. That's deep. I'm gonna try to rob it. I didn't get to rob it. We also don't use any assists. We also hit with directional, so that should show you enough. I hit with directional because I tend to try to get under the ball in, uh, with zone uh, to try to hit homers, and I don't really like that. I think it's more realistic if I use directional. So it's not for a lack of using zone. I actually use zone sometimes when I play Diamond Dynasty. But for the road to the show, we will be using... In the seventh inning with a good directional brewing, three to one our score. He's six five, he's tall. Two and one after the foul ball there. A little early on that one. Good speed on first, and he can steal a bag. Kicks and deals. Oh, it's on the ground, that's gonna be the easiest two they've ever turned. Chance isn't the fastest. I don't know how much speed we can even gain with him. Nope. Did I just... Yeah, that was an error. 
You're not a fielder. He's a pure lefty, so he hits he hits lefty and throws lefty. I don't know if y'all can tell. Or have noticed. I don't know if we faced the lefty in case he was switch. So not Chance's best game. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. And that's popped up, we're going to be 0 for 4. Oh wait, nope, he gets to it. So that'll end our game. And we were 0 for 4, so not, not the best. And that's it for the current series. So, since we haven't played too much of the game, let's talk about the loadout a little bit. And then do our first start uh, in double A. Six stubs, okay. Um, a lot of this stuff, I, I'm a little confused on the loadout stuff. I need to learn more about it and uh, what else there is to do. So, let's view the program. So we get a choice pack and then uh, we already got that. We get 250 stubs. Uh, perks and then you get archetype and then that goes to silver and then you get to kind of choose so velocity and break velocity and control we'll do the velocity and break most likely that gets to silver um, and you can do all these missions to work on it and we've already done some uh, which sucks because uh, I wanted it to be pure but we already did some and then we have our DD missions, but we are not doing any of those. It will all be Road to the Show based. Um, and we have Philo 1. And we did... Oh, no, let's do Break. Why do you say we do Break? Break 3? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling the Break. I, I like Philo and Break more than Velo and Control. Um, but that's kind of how loadouts work. Um... I think I have a couple packs for this choice stuff, so let's do that. Let's do the victory pie. And we have another perk. So, increases velocity, durability, uh, and hits per nine, but decrease, decreases control. Uh, oh, this is a lot. Increases velocity, stamina, and hits per nine. Oh. I get two of them. I like this one, uh, but I really like the one that increases break. Uh, no, none of them increase break, but I don't like it when they decrease any break. So let's do this one. I think this one's the best one, and then we'll also do this one. And now we'll go into... Was that ever my packs, I guess? Well, we'll go back into the ball player uh, and see what we can do. So we have Velo 1 right now, which uh, decreases our break, and that's not what we want. We want this one. Right. Control. Home runs per 9 or walks per 9? I feel like walks per 9 is not as... Ooh, but this one does stamina. Let's do that. Um, we have no other ones, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of how the loadout works. Uh, am I a fan? No, but it is what it is. So we throw a sinker change up slider. That is what we will be getting into next. So let's do it. We hear all the time from people around the game that double A is where you start to see the breaking balls that are really set apart from what you've seen before. That can be a big challenge for a young hitter. Absolutely, and I think, you know, when you, when you think back to um, you know, some of the pitchers that I face, some of the guys that you face in the big leagues uh, for five, six, you know, 10 years, you're thinking, man, I saw him somewhere. Yeah, it was double A because when you <laughs> see most prospects of any organization, they pretty much go to double A just to get themselves over that hump and get ready for the league. You had a breakout season at the double A level yourself. What was it about you that enabled you to have that kind of campaign? I was very confident, and I, I thought, you know, if the confidence could just stay with me consistently, which is very hard to do at any level of baseball because it's a, it's a game of failure, uh, I just try to be consistent every night, whether it was, you know, uh, defensively, offensively, um, you know, just bring something to the table. Go home with something where you felt good, and I didn't have to think about that game uh, when I went to sleep. 
Wise words from Cliff Floyd. All right, he's telling us the batting cage is open. We know how the batting cage, of course, works. And now we will be DHing for our first game, and then I believe we go into um, our pitching game, which we're going to go through this episode and hopefully tell him that we want Welcome to be a pitcher to and a pitcher only, reason. and that will be the whole episode. Next will be the designated hitter, Chance Davis. 143 average. Hey, coach, maybe I'm not a fielder. Not a hitter. So nothing happening this time around. So the next to bat will be Here in the fifth, Davis. I'm excited to play for the A's. I think that's a cool team to play for. Into left. Yes, sir. And we won't get an RBI, but there's another hit. So we're up over 200 again, hopefully. And Ray Bolden will step up. Into right. Three nothing. We move up to second. And now in the box, Tyler Ramirez. Taking a bigger lead. And he, misses with that one. he misses, so base is loaded for our three hitter, Jonah Bride, who sucks so far this season. Got a lot of good players out in Oakland. We're going to try to score here. That's a little wide. And we will score off the sack fly. Good job, Chance. 4 nothing and now 6 nothing. Wish we had this kind of run support. Or I hope we have this run support when I pitch. Hey, 2 for 3 day. We'll take it. Got what he was looking for and put a good swing on it. One, two. Pops this one up. Popped up. And that will not drop. Unfortunately. So episodes will be around 30 to 45 minutes, just like Adam, Cam, and Max were. More so Max like, so around, I guess, sometimes 25. Next up, Jonah Bride. And this is a very realistic, long-running series. Uh, they come out every day, so... I categorize each episode by season. Um, so, just know that. That's down the line! It is foul! Should have known by the fact he wasn't moving. We turned on that, though. Got a good piece of it. He has to sprint back to it. And he will have it. Got more of that than I thought we would. We do get the win. Two singles for us. And we are pitching today. <laughs> All right, then. The show 21. Let's go. 6-5-185 at the age of 18. Chance Davis steps on the mound for the first time. Here we go. If he has them all working and uses them properly, Julio Pablo Martinez steps up to the plate and will take that sinker inside for ball one. So Max, of course, being one of the best pitchers on YouTube, I'd say just behind Tyrant Saber. Uh, maybe even better, I don't know. Uh, that's bold opinion right there, I know. Um, you take the first one, you but put that other team on their heels. That's kind of where Chance is going to follow. Hopefully, lots of success. How about that slider breaking into the corner? 2-2. Two, two. And our first at bat is a strikeout. That's our first double-A strikeout. Nicely done, well done. 
Well, I'm sure that feels good, and maybe he'll keep the ball or something. But you know his sights are set. Hernandez up at the plate. And he will chase the sinker. So I've pitched a lot in my days here as uh, an MLB Road to the Show player. And I understand um, just about everything there is to know uh, about pitching. It's just the fact, it's just a game of if it's on today, if you're getting calls, it's truly, it's truly just like baseball. Um, sometimes the umpire is with you, sometimes he's against you. Sometimes you've got your stuff, sometimes you don't, sometimes you have some pitches. And sometimes you just don't throw them. So With three pitches, we will be throwing all three of ours very often until we get that fourth pitch, and then we'll really develop the fourth pitch before we bring in the fifth one. But a good first inning, a strikeout, and a 1-2-3, and that's all you can ask for. Nicely done, Chance. The batter will be Josh Young. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Josh Young. A native Texan. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2019. That miss. So I stream a little bit, but not really. You're going to know his name. When summer comes, I might stream a lot more. And uh, we'll really do live Chance Davis stuff. I think the two-way would be fun, but I'm not doing that. We're doing a starting pitcher. Maybe I'll do a two-way on my own time. Hit on, the ground towards the left. on the ground, third baseman has it. Throw pulls him off the bag, and we have our first error. And the perfect game is ruined by Josh Bride. Sinker down the line. Get foul. It will not. Corner and well, is he going home? No, he is not. But with no outs, that's trouble. Let's jam him and get a pop up or something. Open base right now, but I'd rather not load him with no outs. It's definitely getting out here. He's way out in front, so we're going to attack. Change up here. Get in the zone. There you go. Uh, that is trouble because that's too that's deep enough to score the run. Run throw is not on target. That is not our earned run. But it's still not what you like to see. We throw with uh, Blazovic, I think, is his last name. That is the windup we're using. On the ground, we'll get out number two right there. So two down, runner on third. Now with the plate, Jacob Travis, runner in scoring position with two down. Not our best pitch. Got him a little out in front of that. Slider inside. Good play at shortstop, and he got him at, at first. So that's not an earned run, but we're all tied at one here through two. We'll head into the third. Up 3-1. Face the nine hitter for the first time today. So one good thing about playing in the AL is the fact that we're going to get to play against all three of our players, of our previous Road to the Show players. I'll show them. Oh, that is going to be trouble. That's definitely getting down. Maybe. No, what a play by the center fielder. First out of the day of the inning. It's a tough one. Look at this. Not the best angle to it. Well, actually pretty good. But a play out in center. 
That was a bad pitch, too. That is roped. Not hitting our corners as well as I thought we would. He's got blazing speed. He might get three. He's running for it. It's going to be close at third. He is out of there. Let's go. Great cutoff here. This throws a little outside, but he gets the tag down just in time. And we will not have to worry about a runner at third. At the plate, Aliyah Hernandez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A ball and a strike. Now, for those of you who are new to uh, MLB, uh, I'm very excited for everybody on Xbox. Uh, this is a great game. I think everybody's going to have a good time. Um, and I'm super excited that y'all finally can get your hands on the game. It's not fair that y'all have had to deal with RBI baseball for this long. Um, it's your only source of MLB. This is a really good game, but there are some mechanics that are less known. So one of the main ones for pitching uh, is, well, you can turn it off in, but I mean, I think it's in Diamond Dynasty, which is the game's most popular game mode, is pitch confidence. So if you look when I'm picking my pitch, there's little blue uh, over each pitch. The more that meter is filled, the more confidence you have in that pitch. The more confidence, the more controlled your pitch will be. So, um, for relief pitchers, it's more common that you don't go to pitches with lower confidence because you don't need to. But as a starting pitcher early in the game, you'd like to settle in and get every pitch up, even if it falls. So in this case... The changeup isn't at an, it's not bad, but it's not an incredible confidence level right now. So we're going to try to get an out or two with it. And even just getting hit hard will lower the confidence. See, that foul ball moves up to near half. So I have a little more confidence in that pitch. Does that make sense? I hope it does. But as the starting pitcher, you'd like to keep them all fairly high and use them all. That's one of the best perks about not throwing um, as many pitches is that you don't have to worry about five pitches confidence. So if we get a strikeout here with this changeup, which we won't, but we do get a weak ground out, that'll up the confidence a lot. And uh, the changeup will be good to go for a good bit of time now. See how it moved up a lot? Now getting shelled off of it or just throwing the ball will lower it. And that's basically how it works. Another thing about the game is... Uh, Every time I throw a pitch and something happens, uh, it's called live games. And what happens is, like, he just swung through that sinker. Not because I blew it by him, but because of the movement and, uh, you know, the pitch itself. So, that gave me plus to break on the sinker. A tiny boost to break and that goes into your full attribute point so the more you pitch the more you play the better your player gets and that's kind of how it works here so if i get a strike out here my k per nine will go up but if i get a ground out my hits per nine will go up and see how that ball was hit pretty well uh in the air so my home runs per nine went down but my hits per nine went up and the home runs per nine went back up because it was caught that's how that works um, it's a really good system. I wish MLB and NBA would implement it into their game. Um, but they're very money hungry, so they don't do that. And that's on the ground. Played. So we're throwing a really good game today. And just to prove uh, to everybody, I just want you to see Legend and Pulse. And then hitting is on Hall of Fame, and zoom is our camera angle, in case you were wondering. Big slider. Oh, that was hanging. It's no wonder this guy's pitch count is so low. If they keep swinging on the first pitch, he's got a real chance to go. We don't walk many people. We didn't with Max, and we won't with Chance either. Great sinker. This pitch doesn't have much movement. Let's see if we can get it to drop off the face of the earth. And we do. Did he go? I think he did. Yes, sir, he did. 
Second strike out of the day. We're not going to strike many people out until we get our K per nines up. So far this inning, K's per nine, not K per nines. Got the first guy on one pitch, then absolutely dominates this at bat. See if we can get the sinker to move back into the zone. So the reason I went with sinker is uh, to go a little more cinder guard like. I really like cinder guards' uh, full repertoire of pitches. I think it's really good. Um, so that's kind of what we have a model of. If that makes sense. Really good fifth, and I think we'll get to throw the sixth. Only at 49 pitches. They're really swinging early. Still up 3-1. On the ground, good play. I suck at covering the back. That's one thing you will learn. Julio Pablo Martinez steps up. All of our pitches' confidence are really high. The way Pulse pitching works is uh, pretty simple so see how it fluctuates from big to small the smaller I can bring it in uh, the better accuracy I will have on my pitch that's about the whole that's the whole shebang he's laid on a change up so if we can attack sink or bad pulse he takes it dang not much mover on this movement on this slider yet Really got to get that break up. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. All right, two two, change up. Oh, it's sharp and two it's right. Into right. And that That's gonna get down. All right. So one out hit. I mean that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down. Balls roped. No put away pitch. Works the count back to neutral and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. Aliyah Hernandez stands in as he looks at a called strike, and he misses with it one and one. Martinez. One one. Runner at first with one out. Into right. To straight away right. Tom is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced. He throws it away, and that's why I back things up. Gets away from him. All right, it's okay. We're good. It should be our last inning. Let's get out of this with no earned runs. That'll be quite the debut. <laughs> Some help there from the blue. Backdoor. Sinker. Nope. Can't catch it. Got the slider out in front of it. No, actually, pretty good timing. Let's go change up. Low and inside. Well, Not going to get the chase yet. The up there. Sinker. Fly ball, right Fly ball left. left. He should get there. He does. What a day for Chance Davis. I think that will do it for him. What a day. No, we get to throw the seven. Management's looking and they're like, all right, I, th I think this guy's a pitcher. <laughs> we only throw 90 right now, which sucks. I want to throw like 97. On the ground hard. And that's going to be considered a hit he's going to he's going to be out by a mile and the aggressive base running from frisco is really just costing them a lot they have four hits that was not a good pitch luckily it wasn't hung over the plate and now our pulse is starting to get a little bigger as we get a little more tired. We don't get the call there. That hurts. On the ground. That should be two. Two down. Taken, and that Filthy changeup. Out one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. So now an 0-2 count. How do we want to attack this? I'm thinking changeup. Bottom left corner. Pass. See if we can grab it. Ooh, no. Good idea. 
As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. High and out you sinker, maybe. And you got to fight to make sure it's in the And that is That's popped up, and that will do it for the seventh. 72 pitches for chance. See, as our walks per nine goes up, we still lead by a good bit, and that will do it for our day. What a great outing for Chance Davison, his debut. Legend difficulty ain't got nothing on us, and we lose. Man's in the eighth blew it. Wow. So we go seven innings, four hits, two strikeouts, no walks, and one earned run. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. That's not earned, is it? Is it? It is not earned. It is a run. It just says it should really say runs up there. Our ERA is still zero, actually. So that's uh, awesome. We'll finish out... Actually, no. We will do that next episode. Um, actually, we should do it this episode just to get those games out of the way, if that makes sense. Um, so we get all these attributes boosted up a little more. Um, these are base attributes. And what that means is that we can get these to, I believe, 50. And then after that... Um, that's it. It's actually happening. The organization has decided to try him as both a position player and as a pitcher. They're really trying it here at the double A level. Jonathan Mayo of MLB Pipeline is with me. Jonathan, do you think this could work? I mean, can it work, Ben? Yeah, of course it can work. It hasn't worked all too often. Uh, there are more and more teams who are trying to make it work. Most of these guys as amateurs were two-way players. Uh, you know, they don't specialize usually until later on. Uh, and often they choose one or the other. You see more and more teams really making an effort to let players do both to see maybe one jumps to the foreground uh, on, on its own organically. It's awfully hard just because of the amount of work that you have to put in to excel either as a hitter and position player or as a pitcher. Naturally, some work is going to be taken away from one or the other if you're splitting your focus. And that's why we haven't seen it too often Guys have to be tremendous athletically to be able to do both. The work ethic has to be off the charts. It's happened a couple of times at the major league level, uh, but it's few and far between. So I'm really interested to see if it's going to work out in this case. So it is interesting, um, but I'd, I don't like it. I prefer to focus on pitching only. Um, exactly. Yes, starting rotation. All right. And that's it. We did it. So let's uh, explore a little more um, into the ballplayer feature. Uh, did we get anything through our program? Uh, here are our full stats. We get 30 for just being cheese. And then we get 40 for hits per nine. 10. And then those will all upgrade with base stats, if that makes sense. Our velo is up 40 over there on the right, uh, which is nice to see. On our program, uh, we will uh, eventually get more and more of these. Um, but basically, tally pitches, uh, innings, and all this stuff just gives you that reward token. Uh, and that reward token goes into this. So we'll get stubs on the next time, but the third one will be a perk. And then eventually, we'll go to silver and... Uh, once we get there, you get, you know, one of these, and then you go on to the silver. And eventually you get to diamond. Every, I mean, you get how it kind of goes. I think it's a cool idea in a way. I think it's really cool it's implemented in Diamond Dynasty. Just not my thing. I like the old system better. But we'll, we'll live with it and we'll do it um, regardless. Let's check out some of the players we put in the game. And that is our former three players, uh, which... Oh, let's check out our team, actually. So, Matt Chapman, Ramon Laureano, Matt Olson. Okay, I didn't realize Matt Olson was still only 27. Chapman, of course, being the gold glover and good hitter he is. He's one of my favorite players. I want one of his jerseys, um, and I'm hoping to get one soon, actually. Let's check out the starting rotation, which actually is not very strong. Jesus Lazarda has a ton of potential to be really filthy. He throws the ball really hard. 
And he's having a good season so far. We're all the way at the bottom at a 57 overall, but we are 18 at least. Uh, so that means something. Taylor Hurts also 18 and a B potential, so there's somebody else. Um, and then Henry Tanaka is B potential, 70 overall, 22 years old. But Jesus Lazardo, uh, Taylor Hurd, and of course Chance are the guys that are really going to be good one day probably. So let's check out Cam. Cam first, he was our catcher last year. We didn't play too much with him, about 70 episodes, but we put him in anyway. He's actually not starting right now. He's behind Salvador Perez. Um, he's quite the player. He's insane. Uh, he was a power hitting, switch hitting catcher. A little overpowered, so we had to nerf him a little. We put him at 19 years old, a potential. Not too fast, but he's okay in the field, good power, um, and pretty durable. So that's Cam Jackson. He is one of our additions. The second was our 250 episode nearly, Adam Turner. He was our center fielder out in Chicago and Tampa Bay. He was awesome. We loved having him. He was a small ball player, which means he was contact based, um, hence the good contact. He was lefty uh, and the fastest player in the league, so we gave him all 99s on the speed. Like, truly, like, he was the fastest player in the league by far. And he was, uh, after the sim, our first sim, six time gold glover, so we gave him pretty good fielding stats. Um, and an arm to develop and of course the hitting is going to develop he is at 20 years old a potential and a 91 overall right now the third best player on this white Sox team now the granddaddy of all of our players it is max hamilton everyone knows max if you've been here at the channel he's 20 and an already a 98 overall a potential i just couldn't do anything to say this guy was anywhere near bad i mean he is one of the best players uh, on YouTube, in my opinion. He was incredible uh, for being realistic. We gave him pretty good uh, stats all around. He has great stamina, great K per nine, uh, and he was really just filthy when it came to... Um, how do I look at his top right? Uh, isn't there a way to look at... I thought there was a way to look at uh, whatever, the pitch repertoire and see like the attributes for control and whatnot. But his break is a 92, his veal is 87, his control is 76. He's filthy. Um, and those are our three guys we added into the game. Just wanted to show y'all. We'll follow them too as we go along. But that's going to do it for me today. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We will upload these every day at 12 um, Eastern Time. So, just be on the lookout for that. I suggest you subscribe and we'll have a good time. That is Chance Davis, Episode 1.